Hi everyone, I'm Joyce Lin from Shopland Malaysia. In this video, we'll be talking about how to start live from your Facebook page and cross post the live stream to other Facebook pages. But before we can actually proceed to start live, right, you would first need to connect your Facebook pages at your Shopland admin panel, which we call it as channel integration. Okay. So if you'd like to learn more on how to proceed this step over here, you may watch our full tutorial video or you may reach out to our support team via live chat to ask them uh, to ask our team on how to actually proceed with channel integration. Okay, so since I've already connected to the Facebook pages, so now let's just start to create the live stream. Okay, so first of all, you have to go to your social commerce and then go to live uh, shop line live. Okay, then you'll be brought to this page over here. Just click on this create live stream button to create a new live room. Okay, so over here, we'll be able to view two different types of broadcast channels. So the first option is actually to start a live stream from shop line. And then the second one, which is the one that we'll be talking about today in this video, which is live stream from Facebook. Okay, so if um, you guys are interested to watch, uh, to know more on how to start a live stream from shop line, then you have to go to our other video to watch this uh, topic, okay? But today we'll be focusing on this live stream from Facebook. So just click on next. All right. So the second step is actually to create, um, to actually set up the basic settings, okay? So over here, there are three things that you will have to um, key in, okay? So the stream name is actually a must for you to key in. Okay, however, for the streamer as well as the introduction part is actually optional. Okay, so for stream name, let's just put as Facebook level. All right, so click on next. Here we have the third step, which is all the add one settings. So the first add one settings part is actually the lock inventory feature. Okay, so for this lock inventory, it is when a customer actually types the product's keyword during the live session, the system will actually hold the product for your customer, or you may say as reserve. So it's based on the quantity type for the set period of time. Okay, so you may actually set the uh, lock inventory period, just click on this um, calendar button, and then you can select the date as well as the time. All right. Then the next one is the keyword settings, okay? So for keyword settings, we have three different types of order rules, okay? The first one is actually contains keyword or keyword plus quantity, okay? So for this um, first order rule, right, it, it's not um, recommended by us because if, for example, a customer actually comments, um, may I know what is A1? because the customer is merely just asking what this A1 product is about, the system will also automatically send out the checkout link to the customer right away because the system actually detects the relevant keyword, although the customer is only inquiring about the product, okay? So it's not that recommended. The second option, however, which is the contains keyword plus quantity, okay? This one is highly recommended because it is um, also used by most of our merchants itself, okay? The system will actually capture the customer's comment, the keywords plus the quantity, okay? Be it like A1 plus one or when the customer says, I want A1 plus one, okay? The system will still um, send out the checkout link to the customer, okay? Unlike the first option whereby the buyer actually just uh, merely asking what is A1, then the system will actually prompt the checkout link, okay? So this is actually highly recommended. And then the third one, which is the keyword or keyword plus quantity, uh, only keyword or keyword plus quantity, okay? So with this option, the system will actually capture the comment only with A1 or uh, A1 plus quantity, as what the statement says. So for example, if a customer comments, I want A1 plus one, the system will not be able to uh, capture the uh, what the customer wants and then that's why it will not send out the add to cart message to the customer that's why we will actually recommend you to choose the second option okay and then the third um the third function that we have here under at one settings is actually during live you can actually choose whether you want the customers to place um orders anytime 
or you can choose whether you want to manually activate each keywords or uh, only when you actually recommend the products, then only the customers can place order, okay? So normally we will also choose the first one, but this is also optional based on your own liking, whether you want to choose uh, which, uh, which function. Okay, then the fourth feature is actually after live. So here we have two different options. So one is to maintain the keyword status after the live session, or you can choose to invalidate all keywords after the live session. All right. And then the next um, function we have under this add one settings is actually for the messenger settings. Okay. So here you can have two different options. You can actually... Um, up to send the message to the customer once the customer actually commands the keyword or you don't want to send any message to the customer okay the add to cut message you don't want to send add to cut message to the customer once they have actually commented the keyword but then you want to manually send it to the customer after the live session okay so this is actually um based on different regions the likings of the merchants from different regions lah, right so this is also up to you whether you want to choose which which option which is more convenient for you okay so next once you are done with all these settings really then you can proceed to create this live room okay all right so you'll be brought to this room over here all right so the first thing we see on the top left corner of the page is actually event okay for this event part sometimes if you wish to um, have some events interaction with your customers you can also create some events okay however for this event part here we have a separate video to explain in depth of the events so maybe you can just go to the um the respective videos and then you can go and watch how to actually set up the uh, each of these event types okay so in this video we will not be focusing on this all right and then the next one we have custom message as well so for the custom message we have three different types of messages but in this video we will not be explaining on the custom message as well because we have um other videos which is specifically on custom message so you can if you're interested then you can go and watch our videos for custom message itself all right okay so next big thing about um before you can actually start a live stream is actually to add in your live products right okay so to add in the live products you have to go to this button over here click on it and then you'll be able to see two different ways to actually add products so the first one is to instantly create a product itself or you can actually uh, choose the second option, which is to select the products that you have previously added into your add-in panel, okay? So let's just go to select products. And then over here, you can search for a product using the product name. If you have like hundreds of products, right? You cannot be going through one by one. But because now I have like only a handful here, so I will only choose the products from this list, okay? Just tick on the products, all right? And then click on next step. All right, so under this part here, we can actually edit the keywords. So you can quickly just um, choose, um, no, you can quickly just use the system generated keywords, okay, the default keywords, or you can manually add in your custom um, keywords as well, okay? So for example, the system generated default keyword is actually the mainstream one, which is the A, the alphabet, uh, and followed by the number itself, okay? But if you have uh, maybe your own specialized or customized uh, keywords that you have in mind, then you can also have that keyword set up over here, okay? So for example, like it's a perfume, right? So maybe it's a P, um, maybe perfume. Lah. Then you can just click on enter. And then the, um, the keywords were actually um, bug added into the the column for each of the variations already okay so you can just remove the default keyword if you wish okay just click on the x button and then after that during live you can just inform your customers to uh to type in this keyword to purchase okay all right so once you're done with all the keywords adding then you can just click on save so now we are almost um prepared for our live session right so because this one, you have to go to the Facebook page itself to, um, to start live. So that's why you have to go to your Facebook page, okay? So before you can actually come to this page over here, right? 
please remember, guys, to actually um, add in or connect your Facebook page first, yeah, under the admin panel channel integration, okay? All right. So next, I think most of you guys are also quite familiar with starting the Facebook Live on your Facebook page itself, right? So it won't be much of an issue for you guys. So just go to this Create Live button over here, okay? Just click on the Live button, and then you can go to your um the first one which is the go live feature here just click on select mm, okay so now we have um we will be using this webcam okay so it's correct let me just close this thing okay then the next thing you have to do is actually to add in the uh live title okay so maybe this one we'll use back the same stream name demo and then description live testing okay so if you have any description over here you have to put it in because it's a required um a section that you have to key in something a, a short description lah of your live stream and then the next one is you can actually cross post to other facebook pages as well okay so here you can just click on this cross post to more pages and then here because previously i've already um have another page so i can just cross post to this facebook page so if you have other pages then you can just click on the this box over here okay click on this box and then click on continue all right, so once your page has been selected, you can just close this tab, all right? And then one thing, one very important step is actually before you go live, just go to the settings part there, yeah, guys. Okay, and then go to stream. And then just make sure that this embed live video button is being toggled on, yeah? Because if you didn't uh, toggle on this embed live video option, on your admin panel, you won't be able to sync the uh the, the live stream on your admin panel. Later you'll see. Okay. So now once everything is already well prepared, we can always go live already. So just click on this go live button on the uh, bottom left corner. Okay. Just click on go live and then we are about to start live. Okay. So now we are already live. Okay, what we can do is we can go to, go back to our admin panel. Okay, and then click on this connect Facebook live button because uh, we, we have not, this is the last step before we can actually proceed to uh, start the live, which is to connect this Facebook live button. And then once everything is correct, just click on connect. Okay, so now the Facebook Live is already streaming, yeah? Okay, so let me just maybe try to comment as a customer to see how it looks like on this uh, admin panel, this live room over here, okay? Okay, so as you can see, when the customer actually comments a, uh, the product keyword over here, you'll be able to view the comments over here as well on your admin panel live room, right? So you'll be able to view what are the comments, okay? And also, oops, and also the, um, the products, okay? So, and also the payment status as well. And over here, there's a reply function whereby you can actually directly uh, talk to the customer itself. Okay, and then also there's another print uh, icon over here whereby you can print out the customer's information, all right? All right, so this is the comment section here, okay? And then over here on the admin panel, we'll be able to see there are two different icons as well next to the product itself. Okay, actually it's three icons. So the first icon is the three buttons here, the three dots here. 
it's the more actions um, icon, icon, you can say. Okay, here you'll be able to edit the keywords or you want to edit a product, okay? Or you want to delete the product, it's also possible, okay? Then the second icon is actually to inactivate the keywords. So let's say if today this, um, this product here, it is um, sold out already, okay? Then you can just inactivate the keywords during the live session so that whenever the customer actually comments the keywords, they will not be able to um, receive the checkout link, okay? And then the third icon here is actually the recommended product whereby you can actually just um, promote the product if it's a famous product or it's a limited edition product, you can actually recommend the product here. So you just click on this recommended product icon then you'll be able to see that there's actually a message going to be shown, going to be appearing under the comment section as well. Okay, so you see there's actually the recommended product messages to the main page, the main Facebook fan page, and also the cross post Facebook page as well. Okay, all right. So, okay, so this is pretty much all for the um, admin panel site. So now let's just go to the Facebook page itself and then to see how as a customer's perspective, perspective, how they actually receive the checkout link and how do they actually proceed to checkout, okay? Okay, so over here, you'll be able to see as the customer, okay, as the customer, we will receive this, um, once the keyword is being um, typed in, okay? So once the keyword has already typed in, the customer will have to click on this continue button, okay? In order to uh, proceed with the payment itself, all right? Okay, so once the uh, continue button has already been clicked, the system will actually send them this uh, checkout link over here. So this is when, when the customer will need to proceed to pay for this order, okay? So just to let you guys know, uh, if, um, during the live session, it's best for you guys to actually uh, inform your customers that, hey, whenever you receive the um, this order link here, it is not the end already, okay? You'll have to click on continue and then wait for the um, checkout link, then proceed to checkout. That is where and when you get your first ever order, right? So in order to get a successful order, you have to explain to your customers about these steps, yeah? So once the customer clicks on this checkout link here, so it will actually, um, bring them to this um, website checkout here, and then they'll just have to actually click on this, um, key in all this information over here, okay? And then to proceed to checkout. And also over here, you'll be able to view the live stream limited time reservation, okay? Because if you remember, earlier just now, we have actually um, set up the inven block inventory settings, right? So yeah, this is, uh, a note for your customers to know that, hey, this is limited time reservation only, okay? So check out like as soon as possible, okay? So once they have proceeded to check out, they can actually um, upload the payment state, uh, the payment receipt for you if they are using the metal bank transfer option. And then you'll have to go back to your uh, admin panel under order management to go and uh, check the payment status and the receipt amount and all, okay? So now let's go back to our admin panel store here. So yeah, guys, this is pretty much all for our uh, live stream from Facebook page itself, okay? So now in order to end this uh, live session, just go back to the main page here, okay? And then if you see there's this uh, red end live video button on the left corner, left bottom corner, okay? Just click on this button here. And then you'll see there's an end button, just click on it. All right, then your live from Facebook has been ended, 
Okay. So once it's already been added, uh, ended, you will be able to view it on your admin panel live room as well. Okay. Or if you could just go back to your live streaming room here, just refresh. Okay. You'll be able to view a summary of this uh, live stream as well. Okay. So here the status will be finished once the, uh, the live stream has ended. Okay. The stream name and also the time that you have created the live stream and also the channel that you have used, which is the, uh, because we have connected the live through Facebook page. So that's why it's this icon. And also the performance of the live stream. Okay, you'll be able to view how many viewers, how many add to cards, and how much sales that you have made for this live session. Okay, all right. So that's all for our live stream from Facebook, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, you can just reach out to us on the live chat over here. And our support team will get back to you during our working hours, which is Monday to Friday, excluding public holidays from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. All right. So, all right. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Hope you have a great session with me today. Bye.